on, everyone. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday so far. Today is November 3rd, U.S. Election Day, so I do expect to get some pretty interesting price action either later tonight as the results come in and later during the week and what follows as well. On this post, we're going to be talking about Loopring, LRC, USD, if I'm currently bullish, bearish, and what my short-term price prediction is according to what I'm seeing in the charts. Now, if you guys are watching this on TradingView, do follow me. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, do subscribe as I'll be keeping you guys updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. Now, please do also read my disclaimer below as I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I cannot tell you the future. I'm purely sharing my own speculations and opinions on this market and you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing. If you guys do also want to support me and don't already have a Weeble brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. They're still giving away three free stocks upon a successful signup and, and a qualifying deposit. And I will also receive bonus stocks upon a successful signup. Now, if you guys do have any questions or comments, please only leave them in the comment section below as I will not get to all the messages in my inbox. Let me know what you guys are trading. Let me know what symbol you guys symbols you guys are following. I'll see if I can share my opinion on those symbols if I get a chance. Now let's take a look at the overall crypto markets because that is what I look at first before diving into any specific altcoins as market conditions could affect any specific altcoins. Okay, so the first thing I would like to look at would be Bitcoin dominance. I have been emphasizing this about Bitcoin dominance, which we are at about 64.74%. Yesterday, I have mentioned if we actually break out of a 64.2% in that range, that we are going to see a probability of a continuing uptrend for Bitcoin dominance because the last resistance that we actually have are the moving averages on the major timeframes, the three-day, the weekly, and the monthly, uh, 21 and 50 simple moving averages. Uh, all those will have been broken by now, uh, now that we are at about 64.75%. So the probability of Bitcoin dominance continue, continuing to trend up is definitely there. So with that said, Bitcoin dominance trending up, that is not going to look amazing for all coins. The best case scenario for all coins, total all coins in general, are that it's going to be trailing the increase in Bitcoin. That is the best case scenario. There are worst case scenarios. We're not, uh, I'm not going to go there, but you guys should understand the relationship between Bitcoin dominance and altcoins and Bitcoin. Now, let's do take a look at Bitcoin price action itself. Bitcoin price action is currently about 13.8. Now, as I have mentioned yesterday as well, I did expect Bitcoin price action to actually break that 14K level. Um, it has actually went down to as low as 13.2 about yesterday and bounced back up to about 13.8. Now it does actually look like breaking that 14K level is more probable. Okay, so if Bitcoin actually does get a legit breakout out of that 14K level, I expect the next stop to be about 16K and that Bitcoin dominance will continue trending upwards. So price action for all coins are not going to look amazing. Now let's take a look at the total altcoin market cap, which we are currently seeing at almost negative 1.8% uh, at a, about 139 billion. And as we can see um, and remember uh, very recently, altcoins have been getting hammered and we have not really seen much of a recovery in altcoins. I'm trying to see if we're going to find a bottom soon for some of these altcoins and I'll report on it. Uh, but right now, I do not expect anything amazing out of the altcoins. Uh, but overall, for total altcoin market cap, I do still see that, um, I, in my opinion, I do still see that we are in an uptrend on a macro level because we are still above that weekly simple 21 moving average. As long as we still stay above the weekly 21 simple moving average, I think we are still in an uptrend as a whole in total altcoin market cap. Now let's, a, now let's take a look at Loopring itself. Loopring itself had been on this downtrend since pretty much the beginning of this chart on Coinbase. Okay, so we are running in this falling wedge pattern. 
and we had an oversold bounce and bearish up, bullish divergence on the RSI on the daily chart, but that was not enough to break out of this pattern uh, about three days ago. And we have gotten rejected at the daily 21 simple moving average, which is the blue line right here. So we're going to continue down this falling wedge pattern until, um, until we don't. So uh, the bullish case scenario, obviously, is that we break out of this falling wedge pattern. Falling wedges have a 68% chance of breaking upwards. So if it does break upwards, if it does um, by about uh, November 12th, I do get a measure target of about 0.228. Now, please do note that measure targets may or may not be reached. They're only textbook theory. Okay. So if we actually do break out by November 12th, that would be my measure targets. Um, if we if we break out before then, we'll get a higher measure target. If we get a breakout after November 12th, we will get a lower measure target. Okay. So that is the bullish case scenario. We break out of this falling wedge pattern. Now, bearish case scenarios, we have to consider that as well. I am not going to ignore the bearish case scenarios because I am not going to act emotionally when the scenarios don't go my way. So on the bearish case scenario, one of them is that we actually continue down this falling wedge pattern and we may even see about a, a 10 cent looping if we do not break out of this falling wedge pattern by November 10th. Okay, that is one of the bearish case scenarios. We continue down this falling wedge pattern. Another bearish case scenario would be an even more intense one if we actually get a, uh, an exaggerated move and break this lower trend line. Do you have to consider that as well and actually get even lower price action faster and, um, and, 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 and lower? So, those are my two bearish case scenarios. One, we either continue down this uh, falling wedge pattern and eventually see about 10 cents for looping uh, by about November 10th. That's my estimate. Or we break down, uh, we break this lower trend line and get even lower price action. So this concludes my very short analysis on looping LRC USD. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you guys found it helpful. Agreements, disagreements, I'd love to hear them. Uh, I hope you guys manage your risk carefully, and I'll see you guys next time.